Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a hydraulics hydrology problem, and in particular, this is going to be a pump problem. Uh, so here's what the question says. The flow rate through a pump is 210 gallons per minute, and the total dynamic head is 240 feet. Uh, the efficiency of the pump is approximately 0.55. Uh, if the pump runs eight hours per day and the electricity to power the pump is 12 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, approximately how much will the monthly bill be? And then we see one month equals 30 days. We see our four options in dollar signs, so we know we're going to be in that unit. Uh, and so now we need to uh, we need to find some formulas here. So if you're looking in the PE, you can find some good stuff on page 336, and then in the FE. Uh, you're going to be looking in 192, 192. So uh, you'll notice a discrepancy between these two formulas. In the PE, it gives you this, BHP is equal to our flow rate times our gamma times our head over 550. Um, times in times our efficiency of our pump in the fe however it gives you something very similar uh, it gives you w is equal to your flow rate times your gamma times your head over uh, just your pump efficiency so it gives you that um, so very very similar formulas one is actually uh, just a different unit than the other that's really all it is uh, one horsepower is equal to 550 feet pounds of force per second and you can find that in the beginning of your manual respectively so we're gonna go ahead and use the PE's formula for this guy but it's a very very simple conversion uh, for the FE to get this into uh, horsepower. So with that said, let's convert our flow rate into stuff that we can work with, 210 gallons per minute. I'm going to use my train tracks method because it looks like train tracks to me. Uh, one cubic foot is equal to 7.481 gallons. Okay, and then we multiply that by one minute is 60 seconds okay and then you multiply all that out and you end up with 0 0.47 cubic feet per second so we can use that now so let's plug all that into our bhp formula here so bhp is equal to our flow rate 0 0.47 cubic feet per second uh, times our gamma, let's assume water, it doesn't specify, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. Uh, and then we need to multiply that by our head. Our head is given in the problem as 240 feet. And we're going to put all that over 550 foot pounds per second. And then we need to multiply that by, always remember to write out your units so that way you can make sure they work out. We're going to multiply that by our efficiency in decimal form, so 0 0.55. Uh, in this particular case, they could have given you 55% and you would have just had to convert over to a decimal. So whenever you solve for this guy, you should end up with 23.27 horsepower. Ah. Horsepower. And so I'm going to scroll down here. Okay, so let's convert our horsepower over to kilowatts because remember that's what we are getting billed at. Uh, that's the unit that we're getting billed with. So 23.27 horsepower. And we're going to use our train tracks again. Uh, 745.7 watts is actually equal to one horsepower you can find all this in the beginning of your manual like I said earlier uh, so we see that you know horsepower cancels out we're left with watts uh, this guy ends up with 17 3 uh, 5 2.44 watts 
and so we need to convert that over to kilowatts and so this guy ends up being 17.35 kilowatts okay uh, so now we need to convert over it gives us uh, eight hours per day because it runs eight hours per day uh, and so we need to convert that over into a uh, into a monthly basis because we're getting billed monthly so we're gonna go ahead and do that eight hours per day and we know that uh, there's 30 days in a month And so this guy ends up with 240 uh, hours per month. Okay. Uh, so now we can use that and uh, and ultimately multiply out what we got. So we got, uh, let's see, 12 cents per kilowatt, uh, eight hours per day. So now we can just solve it out now. So now we can just multiply this stuff out. So we end up with 240 hours per month and we can start canceling some stuff out. Uh, multiply that by our 17.35 kilowatts. And then we need to multiply that by our 12 cents, so 0 0.12 uh, per kilowatt hour. Because remember our problem says kilowatt hour right there. So this is actually a capital K, a capital H kilowatt hour. So uh, we see the hours cancels out. We see the kilowatts cancel out. And guess what? We're left with. And so guess what? We are left with money over month. And so whenever we solve this out, you end up with four hundred and ninety nine point six eight as your answer. Let's see what answer works for us. And it looks like D is going to be our answer. So I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.